In this fun sunflower video, we will be comparing two varieties, citrus and teddy bear. My focus will be on color verification and design textures. If timed right, I could have a very cohesive, bloomed out, U-shaped sunflower garden. The tall citrus variety in the back and the dwarf variety, teddy bear, acting as the border. The seed packets reflect a similar design, but I assure you they are both worthy of their own independent praise for being bright, happy color therapy. And we all need a little homegrown therapy once in a while, don't we? Excited to compare citrus to teddy bear, which is a dwarf, dwarf size sunflower. Looking at teddy bear the next day, kind of irritated that this is in the way of our view. She is gorgeous. And look what's also happening down here. She's very short. Now, teddy bear, citrus. So far, the colors kind of look the same, but I don't have them side by side yet. July 27th, and look at teddy bear. We are starting to get a lot of color. A lot of these heads are starting to come up for us. This one looks very vibrantly, almost an orange yellow. Now I want to walk over uh, and let you see what the citrus look like. I think they're almost the same. Oh, wait a minute. This one's really filled out. Gorgeous. Little petite, just miniature bursts of happiness. Color therapy, straight up color therapy. I love this color. It's like my favorite color of orange. Right here, this darker one. I look horrible in orange. <laughs> but it does make me happy when I look at it. Let me um, step back so you can kind of see. Compared to seven to eight feet tall. Oh my God, I am so pleased with these. They are making me so, so happy. Okay, so now let's look at citrus, which is over here, which clearly is a taller version of that. Beautiful, nice. Pushy. There is the oldest one, the one that opened first. And of course we have some that are just beginning to open. I definitely need to make a flower arrangement with this one. July 30th, we're looking at citrus. And you can see how this line is really starting to open up, particularly this set of multi-heads right here. She's looking fantastic. She looks like she's all just cush at this point, rather than if you look here at Teddy Bear, it really looks like it has three, four different lengths of the petals. This just kind of looks like one big pom-pom here, but she is gorgeous. That gorgeous. Look at how nice and long she is. She's a long, tall Sally for sure. Gorgeous. Look, I can see about four other heads on her. But you can also see right here how it's starting to develop its side petals. On that one 
there. So they are, they're very interesting. I've got to tell you, they are giving you a lot of variety. These might be uh, a little bit darker than what we have over here. So we'll see. So lopsided or askew, this one is ballooning out to be. I do like how we've got um, different heads. This looks like a standard looking sunflower structure. This one definitely fancy in the middle. Still having that middle center head point in there. And look at those, just all straight up a pom-pom look. Okay, looking at the back of Teddy Bear, they describe this color would be golden yellow. Fully double six inch blooms, great for mid borders, containers, and bouquets. They say that the height only gets to 24 inch. Um, I, I don't agree with that. I think the one got about three feet tall. And for citrus, this says large bright orange, fully double disc, great sunflower for cutting, and the height getting five to six feet tall. I believe the height on both of these actually got taller for me, but I really feel like when you look at these packets, that the pictures really should be reversed here. I feel like yellow is more here, orange is more here. And if we look at Teddy Bear, they're saying yellow. And to me, that was way more orange. Now let's look at citrus and teddy bear in comparison of color. Because the seed packets and the name sort of lead you to believe this is going to be more orangey and this one is going to be more yellow, except for we have a nice orange ring in the middle. And really, they um, kind of look the same. I would say this one has more of an orangey look than this over here does. But that's okay. They're all still beautiful. This is so interesting. They're tight. I have these in vases all night long. They hold up well. Some flowers usually do. But there's lots of areas in here that critters can hide. So I didn't have any ants on the table when I came out, but now that I've taken them out and I've laid them down, some things are roaming around. This is Teddy Bear. Look at how gorgeous and artistic looking this flower is. And then over here, see, there's like no middle cushion here. I mean, it's right here, but there's not really a lot of differentiation like there is with Teddy Bear. But we also have that on this one, and this is one stock. One stock here. I cut these extremely short because the multi-heads behind that stock had not even started to bloom yet. This right here, all on one stalk. The teddy bears, since there are a dwarf, the multi-heads underneath it had not even developed or bloomed yet, hadn't opened yet. So this is the total length that I could get. I mean, this one itself really isn't that long either. But these had all bloomed at the same time on that multi-head, so I felt comfortable with going ahead and cutting the entire stalk down here. Guys, these are very, very gorgeous. I am really enjoying them. There is a lot of stickiness. Hear that stickiness? These ones right here, extremely, extremely top-heavy. So in this little thin vase, I really had to uh, counterbalance these. 
And here is another one that kind of surprised me. Look at that. That looks more like the teddy bear, but let's look at the color. This one is way more orangey than this one. This one looks lemony. This one looks like it's on the way to being orange citrus. And I understand lemons are also part of the citrus family, but I was really going by the picture here of these looking really orangey in the center. Look at how gorgeous that is, you guys. I felt like with these citrus that you kind of got three different looks. You got this one with the nice big feathery petals at the end. You got this one that looks more like a pom-pom with just the tiny bit of petals. And this one here that just looks like boom, pom-pom, that's all you're gonna get. There are a few petals, but they're so tucked back that you kind of hardly notice them. When you first look at them, you're not gonna see that petal. You're just gonna see this big boom right in your face, which is so gorgeous. And it is so pleasing to touch as well. Wonder why my hands are sticky. Guys, look at how well my little arrangement turned out of citrus. Got a nice little surprise on top, little pop of green. Okay, also did this with teddy bear. And teddy bear doesn't point straight up like that. Also the vase kind of makes the contour there of what you're going to follow. I do like the fact that there's three and they're an odd number. These are gorgeous. Let's look at these together. Okay. They say these are supposed to be orange. And Teddy Bear describes the color as being golden yellow. Yeah, I think these look more orange than what these do, especially next to this one for sure. Which one do you think looks more orange? Teddy Bear or Citrus? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I invite you again to subscribe as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with, and my favorite, a specific variety everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up, and have a glorious day.